Last night's Oscars was a four-hour love affair with movies. From the red carpet to Birdman's big triumph, Eli Glasner was watching and tweeting. Lots of fun to follow Eli. His uh, <laughs> Glasner guarantee hashtag got a fair bit of play, which was kind of fun. So pretty much from Hollywood standpoint, the culmination of the season oh, yeah. for you. So you can relax in a bit. We've got the Canadian Screen Awards <sighs> next week, right. so hang on for a bit. Okay. Oh. But we've got to get you working on this last night. Eli's been up all night, but lots to process. How about winners, first of all? So two big winners of the night. Let's start with the, the most colorful of the two, Grand Budapest Hotel, directed by Wes Anderson, taking home four Oscars for those craft categories. So best makeup and hairstyle, best costumes, best production design. Look at how he frames those shots. Look at those beautiful rooms, the wallpaper, the setting, the colors, the purple jackets. And also, and this was a bit of a surprise, best musical score. It's also a surprise that Grand Budapest Hotel did so well considering this is a movie that hit the screens very early uh, in 2014. And so sometimes those kind of movies don't have staying power, but lots of golden boys for Grand Budapest Hotel last night. But let's move on to the biggest winner of the night. Can't complain about these results. This is the movie Birdman, a movie that you could almost look at as a savage satire of Hollywood. There's Michael Keaton playing an actor who used to be a superhero type character like a Batman. Call him a Birdman just to make it even more ridiculous, cawing like a crow on the streets of New York City. And yet Hollywood embraced this film. Best director, best picture, best screenplay, best cinematography. A lot of great moments for this last night. An amazing film. And great to see uh, Keaton soaring again. He didn't take home the Oscar for Best Actor, but it was a great moment. Let me show you another one of my uh, favorite moments from last night. Okay. You know, there's always that little contest between the people who win and the orchestra, the band who, of course, you say <laughs> yeah. something, and then, you know, 30 seconds, and by the time you get to talking about your mother, you know, they start to try playing you off. Well, right. Pavel Pavlovsky is the director of Ida. It won last night for Best Foreign Language Film, an amazing, stunning film from Poland about, uh, well, post-World War II. And so he starts saying his thank you, and then the orchestra starts playing. And then he starts getting a little louder. And then they start, so it's an interesting little competition. Take a look who won. Uh, so I'd like to thank the Academy. Oh, and a, a US distributor who did a great job uh, for very little money. Oh, wrap up. Good. Okay, so quickly to the point. And to my Polish friends who are in front of the TV, and I, I would like to uh, dedicate it to my uh, late wife, my parents, and my children, who are hopefully watching, who are still alive. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You are the main prize. Thank you. He fought the band and he won. He, they backed off. And you know, the audience loves yeah, it when exactly. you do that. You they know, know what's happening. It, yeah. Know? It's true. And it's always, you know, one of the lesser knowns who tends to yeah. do that and they really kind of like that. So Elon and I were having this little chat just before we went on air. Uh, I said, Neil Patrick Harris adored yep. as host of the Tonys, the Emmys. Why not so much on the bigger stage as Oscar host? So I, I have a couple theories okay. on that. One is, I think with the Tonys, he's more comfortable. I mean, he's hilarious on television, but I think Broadway really is his home. It's where he has soared on stage. And so it's just, it's like his, his own living room. He's having a lot of fun. He knows those people in the crowd. And I don't, maybe it's because it's New York, but he doesn't feel the pressure. And so that's the other thing. I mean, once you go from the Tonys, to the Oscars, you're talking, what, billions? It's, it's a lot of pressure. And I almost felt that in the beginning of the show, he kind of felt that pressure. I mean, look, you're human. It's hard not to kind of buckle under that. And then he got to look at not so much him, but his material. They have been using some of the same writers for, well, it feels like decades. I don't know about the, that for sure. And so it just, it just fell flat. It the did. material needs a little... Hollywood is filled with amazing, very funny people, men and women. Hire some of them, <laughs> put them <laughs> in charge of the show. But let's take a look at uh, Neil doing his best. This next presenter is so lovely, you could eat her up with her spoon. Are you a seat filler? <laughs> An actor who is as appealing playing a male stripper as he is playing a wrestler in a onesie. This is awesome. Not my tempo.
So a little Birdman reference there, but you know, we don't go to the Oscars for the comedy. What we do is for the surprises right. and the moments. My favorite moment of last night was the performance of the song Glory from the movie Selma. We expected it would be very impactful on Friday. Yeah, I mean, we, we, it's a big song, and I had a feeling, actually, I predicted it would win. They went on stage with John Legend and Common, big choir, but it wasn't just the performance of the song, it was the reaction in the room that followed. Take a look. And there has been this conversation during the award season of Selma being snubbed, of the continuing lack of diversity in Hollywood and what becomes considered, you know, awards quality films. And so, you know, David Oyelowo, who plays Dr. King, he didn't get the Oscar, he didn't get the nomination, but you saw him in tears last night. And you saw Chris Pine and you saw a large number of celebrities crying openly at that amazing moving performance where really I think the Academy rose to the occasion and sometimes they speak with ballots and sometimes I suppose they just speak with their expression. Eli, thanks for this morning. See you next week.